The Reptile is a 1966 British horror movie produced by Hammer Film Productions and directed by John Gilling. It stars Noel Willman, Jacqueline Pierce, Ray Barrett, Jennifer Daniel, and Michael Ripper. The plot centers on Harry Spaulding and his wife Valerie, who inherit a cottage in a small country village after the mysterious death of Harry's brother. The local folks are not very welcoming, and their neighbor, Dr. Franklin, who is a doctor of theology, tries to convince the couple to sell the cottage and leave. Instead, Harry and Valerie decide to stay and discover that many of the townsfolk have died of a plague referred to as the Black Death. So, if you are uh, Harry George Spaulding of Her Majesty's Grenadier Guards, uh, you are, aren't you? Yes, on temporary leave of absence. Uh, to settle your brother's affairs, quite. Well, then, it all goes to you. Don't expect too much, though. Your brother wasn't a rich man. No, not by any means. Yes, I, I know. And his uh, shareholdings... Hmm. Virtually worthless. Shot back-to-back -back with another Hammer film production called The Plague of the Zombies, this film made use of many of the same sets as well as exterior shots on the grounds of Oakley Court near Bray, Berkshire. Jacqueline Pierce and Michael Ripper also appeared in both films. The cottage used for the film was located in Brantmore Road, West End Walking. The Heathland shots were of West End Choban Common. According to the books on Hammer Films history, Jacqueline Pierce didn't like wearing the creature makeup because she was claustrophobic. After the film was completed, she vowed never to wear creature makeup for any future acting projects. In an interview, Jacqueline Pierce recalled being called into a producer's office and told she had a good face for movies. Then she was asked to play the titular character in The Reptile, which required her to wear the creature makeup. This she could never understand. I'm not mad, you know. They call me mad, Peter, because I find it difficult to grasp some of the things which seem to be so important nowadays. Like being able to make money. But I'm not mad. Just a little vague and sensitive. This is an evil place. Corrupt and evil. In some markets, the film was released on a double feature set with Rasputin, the Bad Monk. Author John Burke wrote a novelization of the film as part of his 1967 book, the second Hammer horror film, Omnibus. The Reptile might not be the best horror film of all time, but it still manages to be a good one. It is suitably atmospheric and takes its time building tension and establishing the mood. It can be said that no one will ever accuse a Hammer film of looking dull. Use of color is virtually a trademark of a Hammer production, and this one is no exception. Each of the cast members give good performances, and their character introductions are instantly intriguing. Although a person might be left to wonder if a modern audience would fully appreciate a film like this. Unlike many modern-day horror films which reveal the entire plot within the first five to ten minutes, leaving the rest of the runtime feeling lifeless, the reptile reveals only bits and pieces at a time in its duration in order to maintain the mystery and suspense right up until the third act. There's very little in terms of gore and nudity, but on the other hand, it is refreshing to find a film more content with building its overall plot. As it is, The Reptile gets a 6.2 out of 10.